What's up my beauties? Today we'll be doing a super cute, super easy how to wrap your hair at night. You gotta do this at bedtime, sis, because I know I don't like to be flat ironing my hair every single day. It's just not happening. But sometimes I do. Sometimes I really don't feel like it. So to avoid that, you can go ahead and wrap your hair. So I'm just going to brush everything back. Backwards because this wrap got to be super perfect like you. So brush it back. How I installed this HD wig without any baby hairs because the baby hairs are not needed. So brush it out all the way to the end of the hair. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brush the roots and make my way up to the top. So see that's looking nice and clean. Everything's going backwards. So now all you need is the tail comb with a metal tip a paddle brush and some bobby pins like so so go ahead and do like a little c curve over here i do have a frontal so i have a 13 by 4 frontal so it's going to be a little bit different for the parting space but I'm going to start it on this side by my ear and brush it in front of my head with my paddle brush. You see, whatever side you want to do, it doesn't really matter what side you do. I'm just doing the right side because that's what I do at night. So brush this side and get a little bit more hair in front. This so will be a little bit more better. Here's my parting space right here by my ear. And then brush that backwards. Okay, so now that you have that, go ahead and go upwards in front of your forehead and around, like so. We're gonna do it as perfect as possible. And the reason you do this is it keeps your hair as flat as possible like when you first got it done and that's what we're trying to do so then you go and you put it behind your ear like this so this side you swoop it and swoop it behind your ear okay and then we're gonna put a pot bobby pin right here and when you put it inside, make sure the ridges of the inside of the bobby pin is facing downward on your hair. That's how you put a bobby pin correctly in your hairline. So now we're gonna continue to wrap your hair. So do small sections and continue from the right side. So just keep on going upwards. And the end result is a donut head <laughs> at the end. <laughs> so small sections, keep on wrapping, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. I wrapped it on one side and now we're supposed to bring this small section and you tie it around. As for your edges, I don't have any type of baby hairs or anything. But I am going to tie it down with a glam band from my hairline. I'm not sure where I put it right now. Uh, have my bonnet. My glam band is somewhere. Uh, I don't know where my glam band is right now, but 
it is a gray elastic band that is perfect to use for your lace because you have to treat your lace as fabric and that's what the girls are doing so that's at least what i do and that's what you should do as well but i can't find one right now oh, okay it's right here here it is so this is a hundred percent elastic and I love using this on my hairline. But um, it's covered right now. So I'm not going to put that on. But this is optional if you do want to do this. But everything is like covered. So go ahead and wrap that up. And here's how I do my hair. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tag me in your video because I want to see how your wraps come out. <laughs> It's probably looking better than mine. But yeah, we getting better every day. And that's on that. This is this is the go-to rap the girls used to do back in the day. Back in flea market days, Carol Mart, Miami. After you get your blowout or after you get your little wrap, wrap this up at night. And keep that fresh turn, fresh relaxers. So yeah. See y'all in the next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye.